earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn welcome to your weekly reading love 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 life and advice um december 30th through january 5th so we're going to take a look at like i said love life and advice and then we'll clarify with tarot this is a quick little 10 to 12 minute reading to see what's going on with you so welcome welcome in hope everybody's doing well hope you had a fantastic christmas Hap and hope you have a happy new year so let's look at love love and advice if you're not familiar with who i am my name is mary and this is leo sunlight insight Ooh. so we have 36 here which is the cross and we have the six of wands at the bottom the six of wands does represent um success and victory and then we have nine and nine is almost at the end of a completion and then it would be 10 and then completion one new beginning so let's see what this has to say with the cross. Just a little snippet here. I am the bringer of grief, sadness, burdens, and ordeals. Pain, suffering, and guilt is in the area of my expertise. I claim weeping, tears, and lamentations, lamentations, and ask for prayers and supplications. When happy cards come at my right, then you shouldn't experience too much fright. So. I'm just going to go over the bottom of the deck so let's see well we have here this uh, i think that's the storks i think 17 is eight eight is about travel action communication we have the queen of cups at the bottom which could be water sign uh you know and that's a love emotions and that kind of feeling so let's see what the um i believe that's messages so let's see what that has to say uh say stork with movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring and the change of seasons. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. Hmm. So this is about love. So I'm feeling, you know, this is about burdens. And this could be, okay, I'm getting for some of you, if you're a couple, married, or just together, if you're expecting Maybe you, you have a little bit of a hard times right now and you're a little worried about bringing a new addition to the family. It's kind of the message I was getting. Or this could be new. Maybe you're worried about that, but then there could be news coming in, a raise or promotion too, that may ease your mind a little bit because that's what the start can stand for. So we're going to clarify with tarot. So, all right. So this is January 30th to the 5th, and it may not exactly um, happen during that week. This just could be messages you need to hear at this time. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Please check the description box below. Also, tons of stuff down there. Um, decks of music, social media, uh, personal reading information, and all the Earth Science playlist are below. So you could check that out if you like. So let's see what we have for uh, life here for the earth signs, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. And we have Freya, bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risk, and be daring. So time to be daring about something. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. White, Tara, sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environment, situations, and chemicals. Hmm. So this is telling you to take a risk, but to be careful and to avoid, avoid anything harsh. So whether, like it says, it's um, relationships, environments, situations, or something like that. So, so if you're taking a risk and you're being bold and you're ready to try something new, something daring, just be careful of the energies around you, whatever they may be. Um, so it could affect you in some way you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. So be careful of that. All right. So, and I don't know, I'm getting messages. Be careful of what you consume also. All right. So let's see what your advice is for the week. Earth signs, earth signs. If you do like the way I read, you're welcome to check out my channel. If you like what you see, you can please subscribe or um, like, share, comment, hit the bell, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. All right, I do a variety of uh, readings every month. I may be changing them, so just to let you know. So your advice here is Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Wow, so I figure whatever uh, changes you're thinking about it could have to do over here with um, taking a risk. Uh, 
some sort of miraculous change will be coming through. And then here we have Kathumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So trusting your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, really trusting. Um, some sort of changes are coming in. I'm getting it like just kind of go with the flow. Let it happen. Don't try to fight it. It's probably something uh, meant to be. You know, just trust your gut and your intuition on it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to alter it uh, or prevent it in any way. Okay, and what's your thoughts also, because that can also change the energy. You know, try not to think negatively um, either. All right, so let's see Earth signs. Let's get some. So what is going on in love over here with the stork and the um, cross? What's going on with that? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The high priestess. Energy there, so... Gut, again, with the gut and intuition, listening uh, to your higher knowing. But secret, keeping could be keeping a secret. And again, it could be about maybe just learning uh, there may be a new addition come to the family, being a little stressed about that with the cross energy, about burdens. So now we have the King of Cups energy. So somebody could be dealing with a water sign here. We've got two uh, water sign energies. Judgment, decision, uh, so it could be um, a faded decision here based on maybe a new, maybe if you've been thinking about adding a new addition to the family, but, you know, thinking, well, I don't know if we can afford that. So this could be that decision about really um, making a judgment call on adding a new addition or on what to do with a new addition that may be coming that you may be a little worried about. Maybe you haven't told anybody yet. Some of you may not even have told your partner yet. So we got the Ten of Wands. So yeah, that's just repeating over here with the burdens, with the cross. Heavy burdens here. Uh, the Ten of Wands energy. Let's get another one. And we got the Nine of Swords. Stress, worry, anxiety. So yeah. <laughs> so that's a lot of energy, especially with the uh, cross there. So... Let's get one more. So what? <laughs> Let's get one more. I feel so. Ace of Swords, Truth of Clarity. So I think clarity will come. A decision will be made. You know, the Ace of Swords is about. Um, it's usually about you know the sort of victory, brand new beginning, based on truth and clarity, aha moments, and um, communication, that kind of energy. So I think this will be figured out in the long run. Um, you know, I do feel making a judgment call on this, on what to do, not really telling anyone. Uh, but there is uh, a water sign involved in this here. So it could be somebody uh, you're involved with. Because we also have Scorpio there, Cancer Pisces there. So a lot of water energy over here. But I think uh, a de decision will be made and uh, some sort of resolution with the Ace of Swords. Some sort of new beginning. So some of you may decide, no, we just can't afford it right now. Or if you do have one on the way, uh, I think you'll figure it out. Um, there's a lot of stress, worry, and, and anxiety. And uh, the Ten of Wands, though, is a lot of heavy burdens. So, <sighs> All right, so let's see over here. We have sensitivity. We have the Four of Cups energy. Feeling kind of bored about something. Feeling kind of bored. And I think that's why maybe some of you may be ready to take a new risk uh, about something here. Princess of Wands. So this is good news coming in. Fiery, passionate communication. And now we have the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. So some of you, um, if some of you here aren't dealing like in this situation, even though this is supposed to be life, some of you uh, could have a love offer coming in, and you know, uh, brand new beginning in love. Or something comes into you uh, that's very exciting. Um, it could be some sort of uh, new adventure um, or something like that. A new um, idea or something. And it's something that you're totally going to love. And it's like you're ready for this new beginning to take this risk. And then we have the Prince of Cups. So yeah, something that you're going to really want to take action on here uh, with feeling like totally in love with the idea, like fiery passion about it, because you do have feeling bored there. And I feel like some kind of idea, endeavor, something here um, 
project is like going to ignite your fire with like the Ace of Cups energy there. Now we have the Knight of Cups. So <laughs> so the Knight, the Prince. I call it, okay, this deck is a little bit different. So there, I'm guessing there's no Queens in this deck. No, there is. So we have the the knight and prince and princess. Hmm. Okay. So so we got the princess. That's a princess of wands and the prince of cups. So I'm a little confused. This deck is new. So, uh, but I feel like um, yeah, taking action, like being totally in love with. This is either like a love situation moving forward now, finally coming in and moving forward, or it's something exciting coming into you in a project, idea, endeavor that you, you're going to be totally in love with and ready to, like, to take action and move forward. A lot of like love for the idea and moving it forward. But it's also telling you here to be sensitive, to be careful around sensitive issues, which the cups do represent, uh, you know, love, emotions, and sensitive um, energy. So, yeah, taking a leap of faith here with the fool. So someone's already here to take a leap of faith, some sort of new project, idea, creative endeavor, or it's a new, for some of you who aren't involved in this situation, this could be a new relationship here, finally moving forward. So let's see what your advice is for uh, the week. So we have Cosmic Gateway and Cloak of Wisdom. Wow, okay. How many do we have here? That's way too many. So the Chariot. So yeah, moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition. Um, so this could be the changes coming in, coming in very fast. Some sort of change, or you're making change, you're moving forward, making some kind of change. So if you're thinking about making change, it's telling you here, uh, you should probably do it. Two of Cups, so soulmate union here, or being totally aligned with this idea, moving it forward, or moving forward. Uh, everything's like aligning now, and ready just to move forward. The star, faith, hope, optimism, dreams coming true. Um, divinely guided energy here. Knight of Pentacles, so being smart, practical, and uh, analytical about this, taking your time. But then we have the Devil energy, so hmm, that's kind of toxic energy. What else do we have here? The Emperor, so taking lead, taking the tr control, taking charge of the situation here. Um, so some sort of change or some sort of miraculous change is going to take place. Just watch your thoughts, I, I feel, with the Devil energy over here. Just continue to be smart, practical, um, think things out thoroughly, uh, take your time. You know, do take the lead, take charge here. Something divinely guided for you, being totally aligned and moving it forward. So if that makes sense for you, that's your advice for the week. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, really working, working on things here. Maybe doing online research, uh, you know, that kind of energy. So I do see there's a lot of energy here. So I guess take, you know, take what resonates and like they say, throw away what doesn't. So good luck to you, Earth Signs. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I hope to see you next week. And uh, don't forget to shine your light.